At the age of 17, Corey Hart recorded five songs onto five cassettes and walked them into the lobby of the Montreal Forum to leave them for Billy Joel and his band. At 1 a.m., Corey received a call from Billy's saxophone player who said he loved the songs and asked Corey to come hang out with them. Now, that wasn't the moment that launched his career, but it does describe perfectly the kind of person Corey Hart is. Hopeful, determined, talented, and cool. <laughs> Corey was born a songwriter and never imagined himself as a performer, but if you write the perfect song, you may just end up as both. Sunglasses at Night launched Corey into superstardom. It was the first video ever to win a Juno, and his album Boy in the Box remains the fastest selling album to date. Now, starting this week, running until October, Studio Bell, home of the National Music Center in Calgary, will present a beautiful exposition entitled Milestones, Corey Hart. Now, for someone who didn't expect to be a star, Corey was an icon of the 80s music scene. And during the height of Corey's fame, he was asked to present at the 1993 Juno Awards alongside another Montreal musician named Julie Mass. That fateful introduction became the love story of their lifetime. And Corey came to a point in his life when he had to decide between family and the spotlight. He chose love. You know, I'm here and doing what I do because I want to make people happy and I want to communicate with people. He was the heartbeat of pop music in the 80s and 90s. Corey Hart wrote his first song when he was only 14 years old. I would spend all my weekends, all my days, writing and writing and writing. By the time he was 19, he was recording his first album. I could capture all the love of me, romantic head. One song almost didn't make it onto the album, but Corey convinced the record label to let him go back into the studio to record it. Anybody got any pair of uh, sunglasses? When I started playing arenas in my early 20s, it was just pandemonium and, and a huge kind of phenomenon that came out of nowhere. Corey achieved 32 top 40 hits, with 12 making it into the top 10. He has sold 16 million albums worldwide. Just a little more time. After eight studio albums and countless tours, Corey decided to step off the stage and into his life by putting focus on his greatest love, his family. There are two things that I always wanted to do when I was a young person, and that was music and to have a family. I definitely did not want to be a tourist dad. And that doesn't make me a super dad. It just means that my kids know that I was there. Corey continued to write and produce music for other artists, including Celine Dion and his wife, Julie Massa. In life, you have to try things. And if there's a door in front of you, you got to find a window. Windows close and the doors close, and you got to go through the roof. Corey Hart's music was the sound of a generation, and it's only just beginning again. It is an absolute honor for me to introduce the newest inductee to the Canadian Music Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen, Corey Hart.
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. I, I am, I've been so, so blessed to have lived my life with music by my side since I was a little boy. I believe that music and love are the most enduring and powerful forces of good in the world. Without, without music or the Junos, <laughs> I would have never met my precious Julie. And, and without love, I would have never experienced the miracle of cradling in my arms my four precious babies. <laughs> India, Dante, Rain, and River, who are all here tonight, all grown up. I want to speak. Daddy's very proud of you guys. I love you very much. They, um, as a songwriter, I can honestly say that those are the greatest songs that I'll ever write. Um, I'd just like to say something about, about my fans, speak directly to my fans at home and those that are here tonight. Um, without you, my songs would have no home, and they would ultimately be unrequited and empty. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart, no pun intended, for listening to me way back when. I never imagined, I never imagined that I'd have the opportunity some 20 years later after stepping away from the spotlight to embark on a national Canadian tour this June. Right back here in London to make a new record with the great Bob Ezrin. And I honestly believe that there can be no Hall of Fame without their fans supporting you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to Alan Reed. Thank you to all the members of Karis. My good friend Steve Kane, I'm very proud to be Canadian and very proud to be a musician. God bless you.